Welcome to the Career Connection Podcast. Today we are highlighting a new staff member in our new Teacher Spotlight series. I'm Camper Arthelone. I'm Kylie Green. And we're here with Mr. Thomas, who is a health teacher and a PE teacher at Alliance Central High School. So Mr. Thomas, how long have you been teaching? Um, I've been at Lincoln, I was at Lincoln College for 32 years, and of course, as everybody knows, uh, we did close our doors, so I um, had the opportunity to come to Illini Central, which we'll discuss a little later, but uh, 16 to 20 years at the higher uh, education level, uh, give or take uh, full-time, part-time. What attracted you to Illini Central? Uh, I'm a small town kid. Uh, as we will go on, I will tell you where that's from. But uh, I, I just like the small town atmosphere, getting to know the kids, uh, the students, sorry, um, and uh, uh, the personality of each and every one of them, and uh, and and going from there. But the, the smaller community is what I wanted. Um, you know, Lincoln is bigger, but I, I'm just more comfortable with the, yeah. the, the smaller uh, type of uh, yeah. atmosphere. I think the biggest thing about like, the thing I like most about growing up in a smaller town is you get to really connect with your teachers and you get to have those connections and they could be part of your support system if you don't really have one at home. Correct. And that's, I feel, I don't I don't know for sure because I've never been to a big school, but I feel like if you were at just like a huge high school with so many kids, you wouldn't have as much of an opportunity to connect with teachers as you do here. I totally agree with that, yes. Is there a significant difference in being a college professor and then? Um, you know, I, I think it's time management a little more so. Um, I'm used to, uh, you know, teaching only on Tuesday, Thursdays, and or Monday, Wednesdays. Um, my job also in Kirby, I was a head baseball coach for 28 years, so that was our, my main job. But uh, as a coach, we had to teach also a little, so I had more time. Time management was probably the biggest uh, difference. Um, the, the, there's, it's a daily routine with no questions compared to what I, I'm used to. And are you coaching high school baseball this year? Um, I was announced a couple uh, Thursdays ago. I was, and I helped with junior high baseball this year. So. Perfect. We're excited because. Yes. We'll, we like we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Yeah, we'll That's all I can do. Yeah. We'll work on it. Yes. Yes. I was. I'm excited. Yes. 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 Those boys. But I actually control. retired from Lincoln College last year from mm -hmm. baseball, so I had a year off. Um, I was there 28 years, 32 total with assistant and head coach. But I uh, retired as soon as my son was a fifth year senior. We both got a chance to walk off the field together. Aww, so it was pretty cool. Um, so I retired at one year off, and I'm ready to get back at it and uh, see what I can do. That's cute. Um, what is the most exciting part of your job? Um, you know, I think the most exciting part of my job is to prepare you guys for your future. And I'm really excited about that. Um, and, and that's what I did at the, we were a junior college for, for a long time. So I had to prepare them for a four year, uh, for a four year school. Then we became a uh, four year college. Then I had to prepare them for life. And I think my job is to help prepare you guys um, as, as young, uh, young adults to get ready for uh, the, the outside world. Um, and, and I mean that with all due respect in a sense, uh, there, there, there's a world outside of, uh, uh, of Lonnie Central, there's a world outside of Lincoln, uh, there's a world outside of the state of Illinois. And uh, I want to try to prepare you guys for, uh, for that adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you always want to be a teacher, or did you have another? Uh, I, I always wanted to be a coach, yeah. and I, I think uh, probably the end of my sophomore year at Lincoln College, because I'm a Lincoln College graduate also, so uh, as soon as I got in with Lincoln College, I, I moved on to Millican University uh, to get my bachelor's degree, and I think at the end of my sophomore year, you know, I had to make that decision of what I wanted to go into, and you know, it kind of went hand in hand, and so uh, um, I, I really enjoy it. Yeah. If you could give your students a piece of advice from your life, what would it be and why? Enjoy being young. It goes by fast. <laughs> it really does. I mean, um, I can remember when I was a freshman in high school and uh, now I'm a, a grandfather of two and three children and married for 26 years and just uh, just enjoy the time. You know, a lot of kids say, oh, I wish I was out of high school. I wish I was out of college. Enjoy it. Just enjoy it and, and, and slow it down. It gets faster and faster every year. Yeah. yeah, I definitely feel that it does get way faster every yes. single year. It feels like freshman year. Yes. Like the end of freshman year. Yeah. We're uh, just little babies. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what motivates you to work hard? Um, seeing you guys succeed. Uh, that's that's the bottom line. If, if I believe uh, teaching is the succession of, of you guys, and uh, that's what I'm here for, and that's what I want to be here for. Um, and, uh, you know, 
some days it's easier than others, but uh, overall, when you guys go from your freshman year to senior year, and uh, I always told my baseball players, uh, the, my most favorite day of the of the year of the school year is graduation day. Mm -hmm. Not our last baseball game, not our first baseball game, not our spring trip, not seeing you succeed to this degree, but walking across the uh, stage and, and receiving your diploma. And uh, that's, that's, that's what uh, I did for many years. Mm -hmm. and we'll continue to help do that. Yeah. Where are you originally from? Um, I was born in Decatur, Illinois. Um, I am a small town kid. I graduated from Argento Oriana High School, which is uh, north uh, northwest in between uh, Decatur and Monticello, Decatur mm -hmm. and Champaign. We're about uh, 10 minutes northwest of, uh, of Decatur. Perfect. Small school, yeah. about 250 total kids, so a little bigger, but yeah. not much. Yeah. Okay. Can you walk us through a day in the life of Mr. Thomas? It, from that's starting when I wake up. Starting from when you wake up to a school, uh, on a school day. On a school day. Um, it's changed quite a bit <laughs> in the last two weeks with no questions, but uh, usually up at 6.15, uh, ready to go. I'm, I'm really quick. I'm, it doesn't take me as long to get dressed as it does my wife or you know whatever, yeah. but uh, we uh, drive here. Uh, take my dog out, Rudy. Uh, make sure I see him for a little while because uh, he's an eight pound little Yorkie. Um, so he's named after Rudy from Notre Dame. Um, yeah. That's another little story there. But um, we uh, uh, get my lunch ready, get things ready to go, put it in the car, uh, drive here to get here to about uh, 7.15. I've been getting here about 7.15. Um, get some copies done if I need to do that. Uh, other things prepared for class and then Health class, fitness, fitness, fourth hour, uh, fifth hour health, sixth hour, uh, what is it? Uh, lunch, then sixth hour, <laughs> yeah. which is health, and then fitness and fitness. And then depending on uh, what time of year it is at junior high baseball practice, um, then head home and uh, that 15 to 20 minute drive, uh, A relaxes me on the way home and on the way here, it, uh, it uh, helps me prepare for the day. Yeah, I like driving in. Yeah, just the compressing and everything. And it's your mind not a bad down. trip. I didn't know if I was going to be able to handle it because I'm not much of a driver in the sense mm -hmm. of, you know, we've always went three blocks from my house to <laughs> work for the last 32 years. And it, it, it's it's refreshing and it, it, it helps me in the morning. And helps you wake up. Yeah, yeah, and like does. comprehend what's Correct. going on through the day. Yeah, after a while, when you start going to Lincoln from here, coming back from here to Lincoln, you, I just... I don't even notice that like I'm obviously I know I'm driving right. but it's like am I really this far like this is a 20 minute drive and I'm already halfway through I, it. I think it's longer from here to Havana. I think it so seems, too. It, it, it might not so be too. I'm not for sure though but it just seems so much longer yeah. going from there to here than it does from. Like, I'm almost positive it is because I've done many trips to Havana I've done many trips to Lincoln and there's I'm pretty Lincoln seems shorter at least. It does uh, seem short. short I'm gonna have to look into that. I'll let you I know. Thought, I thought it was like. And then I see my buddy walk, driving by every morning, and he waves to me at seven o'clock. Oh. We meet in between, and so oh. starts my Same day. Same person every day. Yeah, he 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 he, he, he works in uh, New Holland, so oh, um, I'm okay. usually just outside of New Holland, just outside by the tracks outside of New Holland, and we kind of wave to each other and oh. starts our day off. Yeah, we started off right. Yeah. What are your hobbies? Do you like to do anything? Specific? Um, you know, I'm. Love baseball, of course. Watch a lot of baseball. Um, you know, go watch summer baseball. Little ki junior high kids when I uh, uh, don't coach. Go watch the high school games when I didn't coach or had days off and stuff. But uh, I like watching TV. Um, but a lot of family around. Going out with my friends. Going out with my family. Um, I have two grandkids, uh, three children overall, and uh, you know, just enjoy being with them. Yeah, I love that. Everyone overlooks family a lot yep. and they're like talking about hobbies and I just family's the most important thing so. it is no questions yeah um if you could live anywhere where would it be you know I I, I looked at that question mm -hmm. for a long time I, I'm not really for sure you know I have a couple places I like I don't know um kind of a hometown kid home area yeah. kid and don't know um I guess if I had to, Denver, Colorado would be one of it because you get the summer and the winter and yeah. you get kind of a mixture and then that. But uh, like going to the Lake of the Ozarks quite a bit. I oh, saw yeah. your shirt, so <laughs> kind of blended well. But we go out there, we go there quite a two or three times a, a year. Uh, I, I really enjoy that, especially in the summertime. Yeah. Um, but I guess if I had to live somewhere out of the country, 
Um, for some reason, uh, South Korea and Japan are interesting places for yeah, me. I had a South nice. Korean baseball player a couple years ago. Oh, really? And a uh, very interesting young man. And I, I don't know, I just, that kind of appeals to me for some reason. Yeah. If you could meet anyone in the world, who would it be and why? I want you to answer this question. I think you probably know the answer to a degree, but maybe it's a little deeper than I think. It so I think I'm answering gonna, for you. Yeah, you're going to answer for me, and I'll okay. tell you the answer. Okay, um, I'm going to take a guess and say it's something to do with sports. Actually, you're going to be wrong. Oh, okay. Is it a family member? No. Okay. Um, so no It, it has to do with my life. Okay. Think about it. Where have I worked the last 32 years? You want to meet whoever made Lincoln College? Abraham Lincoln. Wait, hold on. Wait, he, he made Lincoln College? No, but oh. he's named okay, after Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> he, he, okay. He's named after Lincoln. Oh, okay. Lincoln. Yeah. So, so you want to meet Abraham Lincoln. So I want to, I want to meet Abraham Lincoln. I, I, he, you know, he came, you know, he was president in, in a tough time uh, mm -hmm. when, when uh, you know, our civil war was taking place so i have some uh really interesting questions i'd like to ask him about those times um but i also want to ask him if uh, we've done a good job in his namesake uh yeah there for 30 years i'm also a Lincoln college graduate as i've already said so yeah. abraham lincoln would be a very interesting guy and i think i would shock a lot of people with that answer yeah, but, yeah. Uh, i i would the be fact that we thought you yeah i was like okay. it's definitely gonna be like a baseball player or something he's so a too. baseball coach that's interesting. Yeah, I, I wanted to major in history at one point, mm -hmm. and I decided not to go history way and go physical education way and health and stuff. So, so but, you're uh, history. But I don't. I don't mind history. Yeah, I, I like. You but, sound like uh, Amber. US, Amber's US, mm -hmm. U.S. history and foreign policies kind of threw me off. Yeah. That really made me struggle. I didn't do too well at a class uh, with history um, one year, and I'm like, ah, I just, but I probably could have bypassed those and wouldn't have yeah. another. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, yeah, he, he just he just intrigues me, and uh, I have a lot of interesting questions that, uh, and I, I just, if he was here, and, or I could meet him, and, you know, talk to him about, you know, the town named after him and the yeah. school that was named after him because we're the only school that was named after him while he was still alive before his assassination in the country. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, that's right, crazy. Right before he was assassinated. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. 1865. When was he assassinated? 1865. 1865. Oh. 1865 too. Months before, uh, months before uh, oh, okay. we opened. So we, we opened kind of a little later in the, the spring instead of the fall. And it was just kind of a unique situation. So Interesting. Yeah. All right, well, that's all we have for you today. Yes. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time out to sit down with me today, us today. Um, make sure to look out for the next Career Connection podcast coming soon to you.